Amazing backstories for everybody, really. And Melissa McCarthy has much of Hollywood eager to work with her. But she got her second Oscar nomination by taking on an independent movie last minute that husband Ben Falcone had already been cast in. I think I have realized that I am not a real writer. And that I think in the end, it, I would say it was not worth it. I would say that. You're a Best Actress nominee. Crazy. Crazy. What's it feel like to stand up there on the stage for that class picture, surrounded by other Academy Award nominees? I don't know that it ever won't feel surreal. I mean, it's just to look around and to see so many people that have done, you know, so many people you recognize, and then there's other people you're like, oh my God, like the sound in that was amazing. Like you designed all that. Just so many, so many creative jobs and people do so many cool things and to, to kind of get to meet them and realize what they do and what an impact that has on movies is, is really cool. What is that like to share this moment with your mother? Amazing. It's we had so much fun. Like we and I said Ben was gonna come with me and then he's like, why don't you take your mom? And we asked if she'd wanna go and she's like, Well, do we really get lunch? And I said, We do. The luncheon will provide a lunch. And I was like, is that is the deal off if they don't give lunch? Um, my mom and dad both always supported me, you know, maybe even more than they should have, but always were just kind of like, you know, if you work hard enough, why not? Listen, the FBI has been in here to see me. The FBI. They asked me to wear a wire. I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm a good guy. Uh, and if they want me to be a witness, I'll lie. But you are gonna pay me five thousand dollars. I don't know what you're talking about. You mentioned your husband Ben. He got you into this movie, didn't he? He did. Yeah, I, or I weaseled my way into his movie. Is kind of what it was. He was, you know, there's as so often with films, there's earlier versions, and then they they just don't quite work out for nine million different reasons. And I remember I read it because we always read each other's projects and stuff. And I just came out and I was like, he said it was good. This is like incredible. Like I was so kind of blown away because it read how how it ended up being. Like, it read like that off the page. It was so good. Caustic wit is my religion. I can't carry it off. You certainly can. Doesn't help too much in the relationship department. I'm sure that's not true. And then when it wasn't gonna happen anymore, I just realized I just kept asking and pestering him, and I think I really needed to at least see it be made. I didn't know her story before I read the script, and I felt like I should have, because I was in New York in the 90s, and I just was like, how did I miss this? And then I kind of couldn't let it go, so eventually I just thought I'd throw my name in the hat, and I'm so grateful that it all worked out. And Melissa McCarthy will be a presenter tonight, joining a host of Hollywood A-listers, many of them not even nominees. It's a strategic move to bring viewers in, and it prevents any hurt feelings. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.